Hey everyone, it's Jessica here with another layout for the Thermalwood Design Team for Pet Week. And today I'm focusing on this super cute layout um, of my sister's new puppy. She got a cute little new puppy back in January and I am documenting this for her book. So I started this layout by um, cutting out a paw print design on my uh, electronic cutting machine. And I cut it out of the Easy Tear Adhesive, so I peeled off one of the backing pieces and then I adhered it to some white cardstock, and then I peeled the other off and adhered it to this black fuzzy flock. And then I ran that through a manual die cutting machine with some pressure to actually apply that flock design onto that adhesive. So then I'm just going to cut um, another one out for my backing piece, and I'm going to use some of the Ultra Bond liquid glue to adhere these two layers together. So that's super easy. Um, I like this glue for things like this because it does stick very well and it dries clear. Um, I'm just putting that on top of it just to give it some pressure and actually stick it together. Then I'm just going to offset this. I'm going to pretty much keep it right here for the whole layout, but I'm going to do some stenciling around it just to kind of make that pop. Um, I'm going to hide it a little bit behind the photo, but you can still tell that it's a paw print. So I'm just going to accent it a little bit, and I'm going to do that by adhering this stencil down with some pixie tape and using some Distress Oxides in um, Scattered Straw and uh, I can't remember what the red one's called, but I think it's Barn Red. If, if I remember right, I think it's Barn Red. I can, can't zoom in on the screen whenever I'm doing this um, voiceover, but I think that's what it's called. But I'll list it below for you. And I'm just going to tuck in my um, paw print and my photo again just to make sure I'm placing my stenciling down exactly where I want it. And I want it to go right here because I want it to be on both of those sides of that paw print. Just going in with the same colors again and my blending brush, just lightly blending those colors together in the middle. And um, just kind of adhering that there. I'm going to pop down my paw print again. And I'm actually going to uh, stick these down in a moment because I'm pretty much... I think I'm pretty much done with that part, but I um, I want to do some layering on my photo first. So I do mat it down with some smooth white cardstock first, and then I take a couple of these pattern papers from Bella Boulevard line. Um, this one, boy, I can't remember what anything's called today. Um, I'll list it below for you, but I know it's from the pet collection from Bella Boulevard, and um, it's one of my favorites. So I use it a lot, and I'm kind of down to scraps here that you can see. And um, I'm just using some of those scraps just to create some layering behind my photo. So I'm just kind of offsetting them. I'm using my tape runner to adhere the layers together. And then I'm just going to kind of tuck it right there on top of the paw print. I cut these little strips down. Um, I was going off of a scrapbook sketch, um, kind of. I, I say kind of because if you guys watch my layouts, you know that I, I very lightly follow things. I kind of go and uh, march to the beat of my own drum most of the time. So I kind of was looking at a sketch, but then it I just do my own thing. And um, I actually started this layout one day and then I wasn't really liking the direction that it was going. So um, I left it sit overnight and I came back and I tore it apart. So you'll see that in a moment and what I do with it. Um, but here I'm just gonna add some paw print stenciling using some of the Glitter Glitz gel. And this one's by Gina Kay and it's the black. And um, I love this one. Mine is starting to dry out a little bit. So I think I'm gonna try to tuck in a piece of wet paper towel in with my, um, my glitz gel because it is drying out and I've heard that that helps keep it moist so that it doesn't dry up. So I am gonna try that and see if it helps. Now here's those strips that I was talking about. I add some splatters in here with some Heidi Swap black um, shine sprain I think it's called and then here's where I come back the next day I rip those strips off and I decide to just rip a strip out of my layout itself and I'm gonna back it with another one of these pattern pieces that I have scraps of and that I've used to back my photo so I'm going to adhere down my paw print so I can flip this over and back that from behind and I'm just using some of the easy tear tape to back the paw print so I know that it's not going anywhere it's gonna stick it's gonna stay and it's super easy to use you just stick it down tear it apart or tear it off and then you peel that backing piece off and then here I'm using the big foam tape roll. It's 3D and dimensional, so it'll pop my photo up off my page to give it some dimension, which I love. 
and again it's super easy to use you just cut apart the foam tape roll and into the strips that you want and the sizes that you want and then peel off the backing and then here i'm just using my tape runner to adhere that little backing piece down and i'm just going to rough up the edges a little bit so super easy nothing too fancy nothing too difficult on this layout it's um, a pretty easy layout for anyone to copy if you'd like so feel free to use the inspiration and make it your own and you can copy it for one of your books um, so here I'm just adding my title with some, uh, I think these are doodlebug letters and um, these are the my type ones. These are just the black ones and I'm adding the title that says new edition because my sister had posted about their little puppy um, on her Facebook and said this is our new edition. So I am just using her kind of title and it worked out perfect for this layout. And then I'm just going to start adding some embellishments. So I'm taking some of these um, Cooper, Cooper Collection by Bella Boulevard. That's what it's called. Oh, I could not remember that earlier. But yes, this is the Cooper Collection. Um, they have a couple different ones and this, this one's one of my favorites. But I'm just pulling some embellishments off of the sticker sheet that I'm gonna use and just kind of tucking them on the top and around my photo, uh, trying to bring that attention back to my photo some. And then this is when my layout really takes a turn and becomes mine, if if that makes sense. Um, if you've watched my layouts before on my personal YouTube page, you know that I am a big stamper on my scrapbook pages. And um, I love a bit of grunge and lots of chaos and kind of clustering. So this is where the layout really takes a turn and just becomes one of mine or looks like mine. So I do lots and lots of stamping with these little paw print stamps in different sizes in um, some distress inks, ink and uh, just, I think it's gathered twigs. And then I go in as well with some sequins and some jewels uh, and I add some of these little die cuts. So I'm really kind of just adding a lot of stuff to this layout. Um, this is kind of something that I like to do. I like to make sure that my layouts have a lot of interest and dimension and lots to look at and little details. So it really um, makes the photo pop in the end. It draws your attention back to the photo, but kind of keeps your attention throughout the whole layout as well and adds a lot of interest. So um, I just like to tuck in all these little bits and make it really fun. Um, so yeah, I've pulled out a couple of those. I was going to use some of these sticky little trinket puffy stickers, but um, I opt out of those. And then here's where I go in and add a whole bunch of sequins and little um, dimensional dots. So these ones are from my other design team, the Not Just For Boys Kit Club. Um, so if you want any of these, you can hop over to their website and grab those. And I'm just using my sequin tool and I'm going to cut this out because you do not want to watch me... <laughs> put down every single one so there you can see they're all on my page now and I use the ultra bond liquid glue to adhere them because it's super sticky and then I'm just going to do some more little random stamping with the little paw prints I'm gonna add my date stamp and then I'm going to tuck in a few more embellishments I'm actually going to use some more of the sticker embellishments so I pull four of them off of here and I think I might pull out a fifth one at some point too I'm gonna add some thread behind them and then I'm gonna use some 3D foam squares to pop them up off my page. So that's also something that I love to add to my layouts is um, some thread behind embellishments. I think it just looks so cute to add this little bunches of thread. And I just um, made it white thread for these ones because I didn't want to take away from the layout um, by adding a darker color thread. I just wanted to add a little bit of interest around the embellishments and just make it um, dimensional and just fun. So it was just a little something extra. So I'm just kind of bunching up the thread behind it and then I'm popping it up off of my page with a 3D foam square or two, depending on how big it was. I think I added a couple to some of these. So super easy. I'm just kind of scattering them around, um, overlaying them on the paw print design, kind of keeping to that shape and that feel that goes kind of across my page. So I'm just kind of keeping um, all to that same area, but I'm just adding a bunch of little bits. So here, I think this might be this might be the last one. If not, it's I it might have one more coming. Nope, I think that's the last one. Oh no, this is the last one. <laughs> Sorry. So I just kind of keep adding things to where I like it. 
And I love the little sequins all over the layout, it really brings the focus and attention back to all those little paw prints and cute little designs. And then I do just a little bit of doodling around my paw print just to finish this one off. So that is gonna finish it up for this one. Here is the completed layout. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will link everything below for you in case you wanna purchase anything from the Thermal Web Shop. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, bye-bye.